I did meet Simone. You met Simone? Yeah. Her and Suni and the other gymnasts, they came to the village to take pictures at the rings. Um, and Suni told me to look out my patio. So I looked out and they were staying there and I was waving. Um, and then we actually went to the store, the Plaza Mall, and I saw them in there and we kind of talked for a little bit, um, got some things. So that was really cool. I was five years old when I got into diving. Uh, I was a swimmer at first for this little summer league uh, in my hometown and then I wanted to try diving and then I asked my mom and the coach who was there uh, just see if you know I was safe at first um, and then I tried it and then I just literally loved it ever since and I have not looked back. When I was diving um, I bounced between different sports. Uh, I did trampoline and tumbling so I kind of helped with the flipping in the air and stuff like that um, but you're landing on your feet and not your head so I kind of got a little bit um, lost in some of uh, my dives. So I kind of quit that and just stuck with diving. Um, and then after 2015 nationals, when I won my first national title, um, I felt like I had some talent, um, especially after I moved from St. Louis to Indiana for diving. Um, that's when I won my first title. So after that, I kind of just like, was like, okay, this is, what, this is what I want and this is where it's gonna take me. With my performance, I feel like I could have done way better. Um, I wasn't nervous at all. Um, I felt like I was ready to compete, um, but it just wasn't my day. And hopefully that um, the next Olympics, hopefully I make it, um, I can perform better. My overall Olympic experience was, de it was definitely one to remember. Um, it was different because there weren't any spectators in the uh, venues, but I feel like it was also good for us because we didn't have that extra pressure of the audience. We just had our teammates in the stands, so that was really nice just to hear them. Um, yeah, everything's been top notch. The village, everything's so nice. The Japanese people, they're the sweetest people ever. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been great. I get a little bit of a time off uh, after this. Um, I got to move into Purdue, um, get situated there, and then hopefully start the training process for uh, Paris.